forces at work keep the action going in cricket. From the time bowler started his bowling, batsman, bowler and ball are constantly in motion. Muscle force allows bowler and batsman to position himself properly for the final hit. Different forces act on the ball at different times before it lands outside the boundary. Gravity pulls the ball down. Ball hits the ground with its own force. It is easy to see forces at work in a cricket game. But forces and motion happen all the time in your daily life as well. You probably don't even realize it. What are the forces you experience every day? A force is a push or pull. If force is strong enough, it will make things move. You can push the door or pull it quietly to close it. Or when objects are already in motion, forces can make them faster or slower. Forces can change the direction of objects as well. You can close the door by applying more force. When you ride a bicycle, you can make it go slow or fast depending on how hard you pedal. When you hit a ball with a bat, the force of your swing is transferred from the bat to the ball when they come in contact. Moving ball changes its direction and flies away from the bat in the air. Forces often work in pairs. If you pull on this rubber band, you can stretch it out. But while you are pulling, the rubber band is also pulling against you. If you release it, the force of the elastic rubber band takes it back to its original length. If you pull it too much, it may break as well. Here, your force you applied was far greater than the force which was holding the rubber band together. This is a wooden block. This block is made of stone. Both are identical in shape, but their mass is different. Mass of the wooden block is 100 grams. Mass of the stone block is 450 grams. You will need more force to hold this block of stone than this wooden block. The amount of force required depends on the mass of an object. Stone has more mass than wood, so greater force is required to lift it and hold. Forces are exerted in different directions as well. When a bowler bowls the ball, he applies force in the same direction in which the ball is moving. When a fielder catches it, he applies force opposite to the direction the ball is traveling. He can stop the ball and catch it. Usually, more than one force acts on an object at a time. The combination of all forces acting on an object is called net force. Then, net force will decide how much object will move and in which direction. When two forces act in the same direction, they add up. Pratik is pushing the table across the room. What will happen if Vishal joins him? When Vishal joins him, he can do it much quicker. Here, net force is greater than the individual force applied by Vishal and Pratik. What if they stand on the opposite sides? Which way the table will move? Who will win in this tug of war game? When two forces act in opposite directions, lesser force is subtracted from greater force. The net force shows that the object will move in the direction of greater force. This tug of war game, the team with greater force finally wins. Units of force. Just like dimensions of this box are measured in meters, forces are measured in units called newtons. This is named after English scientist Isaac Newton who made many discoveries about forces and the movements these forces produce. This ball weighs around 100 grams. If I release it, it will fall. But I can hold it with my hand like this. 
बॉल इज पुशिंग माई हैंड विद अ फोर्स ऑफ वन न्यूटन माई हैंड इज ऑल्सो पुशिंग द बॉल विद द सेम फोर्स ऑफ वन न्यूटन बट इन दिट डिरेक्शन एज टू फोर्सेस आर इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट द बॉल इज नॉट मूविंग फोर्स इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एन एरो वेर द एरो रिप्रेजेंट्स डिरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स एंड इट्स लेंथ रिप्रेजेंट्स मैग्नीट्यूड और वैल्यू लॉन्गर द एरो the stronger the force summary forces are everywhere force keeps the world moving when objects are already in motion forces can make them faster or slower forces can change the direction of the objects as well check with your surroundings and find out examples of each type of force mm-hmm.